Hello again. My name is Cyrus Webb, once again bringing you the very best of visitors to Mississippi. Our guest that we have today is someone that many of you may know, but not for the reason that they're for here today. He is a platinum selling recording artist who has traveled all over the country with his music, but today he's in Mississippi promoting his blockbuster novel, Death Around the Corner. Please help me welcome C Murder. How you doing, C? How you doing, sir? See, we're very glad to have you here in Mississippi, especially since this is just the second spot that you've ever actually held a book signing in Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit, though, about yourself, first of all, before we talk about the book? Yeah, my name is Corey Miller. That's my government name. I was born and raised in New Orleans, and I started rapping like uh, eight or nine years ago with my two brothers, Master P and Silk the Shaka, and that's how No Limit Records became, you know, the big entity that it is today. And um, basically what I'm doing right now is for us with my book, Death Around the Corner. This is the first novel that I've written ever. It took me two years to write it, and um, it's a good novel. Everybody I get in Amazon.com gave me five stars, so you know, it's doing real good. Right, right. And we know that it's not always easy to please the readers at yeah, Amazon.com. Especially. So it, it definitely says a lot about the book. Mm -hmm. One of the things that impressed me so much, see, about the book is that it has a universal appeal. The mm -hmm. story, though, is, is fairly basic. It's about a young boy and the choices he has to make in life. But there's also a different feel to the book. And for our viewers, I want to read just one excerpt from the book. It's actually, they actually have the novel already. It's page number 37, and this is about the main character, Daquan. He dreamed of a large church full of familiar faces, family and friends. Even Daryl was there with Macy. Grandma Mama was the only one crying, but no one seemed to notice. They were all chatting and laughing, oblivious to the old woman's pain. Daquan rushed over to Grandma Mama and cried out, Mama, what's wrong? Are you hurt? But she didn't even acknowledge his presence. Mama, it's me, Daquan. Mama, what's wrong? Still no response. Just then, the piano player began to play a slow, sad waltz that drew his attention to the coffin in the front of the church. He crossed the room to it, only to find the lid closed. He tried to lift it, but a small feminine hand held it closed. He looked up to see that the hand belonged to Diana. Don't open it, she warned. I want to see, he whined. No, don't open it, she repeated. But his curiosity got the best of him. He opened the casket lid, admiring the thick red satin that lined the interior. His eyes traced the fabric of the suit from the pants to the small black hands folded across the, the body's midsection. But what he saw next made him gasp and stumble back. The face in the coffin was his own. The hands folded in their final resting place were his hands. It was his own funeral. Mama, no, I'm not dead. I'm the words got caught in his throat because the eyes of his casket itself popped open at the sound of his own voice. The corpse sat up at the waist until they were both eye level and face to face. He awoke breathless and in a cold sweat. Hmm. So we That's can tell deep. from that the book definitely has a supernatural feel to it. What made you include that in the book, see? Because, I mean, you know, like this movie Premonition, as I, I mean, certain things I just feel, I always felt in different programs that I watched on TV, that people always have a premonition when they're about to die, or if death is definitely around the corner or coming soon, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely want to include that in this novel. Mm -hmm. And um, as, as we both know, one of the things that's the conscience for the main character, Daquan, is mm. his dead sister, who's yeah. Diana, who we're introduced to there. Yeah. Now, as far as Daquan's family and, and the situation that he, he goes through, you mentioned at the end of the book that all of us know a Daquan. What do you yeah. mean about that? I mean that everybody that grows up in the hood or in the project or even anywhere, I mean, they got somebody like Daquan that's going through something that's to have a father. He's fatherless, motherless, you know, basically probably ra uh, raised by their grandmother and stuff like that, you know, just going through hard times at a young age. Mm -hmm. So basically everybody knows that they're quiet, not just in the, in the hoods, everywhere. Wow, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And see, you've been all over the place already to, um, since you've been in Mississippi. We know you have some more stops that you're going to make. Yeah. What do you hope is the, is the lesson that people get from you and also from the book, Death Around the Corner? Well, I hope that everybody that reads the book uh, just hears me speak to them on a personal basis get the fact that there are consequences that you're going to come across, you know what I mean? And you have to pay for the wrong choices that you make, and that's just the way it is. That's just life. You can't sugarcoat it. That's why I didn't sugarcoat this book. I gave it to them real, and then at the end I let them know what really happened, you know? 
Right, and there are some great lessons in the book. I know it's yeah. something that everybody can find something in. Again, the book is Death Around the Corner. The, the author of the book is best-selling author C. Murder. If you want to find out more information about the book, you can visit the website www.deatharoundthecorner.com. That's www.deatharoundthecorner.com. See, thank you so much for making Mississippi your, your second stop Glad on the to tour. And for all of you, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy Mississippi. We'll see you next time.